winning and losing is so important, but at the crux of it, it's really not. We don't really set goals or anything like that. We try and set standards, and we try and teach them standards. This is how you live, this is what you believe, and this is how you follow through on things. We want to focus on who we are as people, what we do. If you have great standards and you live by them, the winning thing takes care of itself. This is the biggest turnover I've ever had in, you know, 40-some years of coaching, 35 years as a head coach. This is like my first season. Nobody knows our players. Nobody knows what any of our players can do. We lose so much from last year, so everybody feels like they don't have anything to offer. And I feel like our guys need to come to work every day with that chip on their shoulder. Like, we're highly disrespected. This year, since we're a young team and we did lose a lot of guys, Campy wants to, I wouldn't necessarily start fresh, but to put in his base for what he expects for us to do, the non-negotiables, the expectations, you know? He knows that if we want to get where we want to be, like if we want to go into the Horizon League Championship game and deliver and then go to NCAA tournament, we're going to have to rebound. During the offseason this summer, I saw a quote from Pat Riley that said, no rebounds, no rings, and I really, I feel that that really is what our team's about right now because I think our biggest weaknesses are rebounding. And so I've been trying to set the tone with the team. With Isaiah and Jalen uh, gone, let's, let's face it, we're not, uh, not going to rebound above the rim like we did before. Th this needs to be more of a physical positional rebounding team. So we have to protect our area and become a better, more physical box out team and, and uh, block out for position. and and maybe win the rebounding war a little bit more on the ground. Offense wins games, but defense wins championships. And rebounding is a derivative of championships and defense. That's a no talent thing. That's a, uh, it should be a non-negotiable thing. And if you, if you do the things that don't take talent, you're gonna find yourself coming out with a more positive outcome majority of the time. But it's more of a rebounding like you guys have to step up and take on roles that you didn't have before. I want to be the leading rebounder for us, you know, that's where we kind of struggle the most. So I just want to make sure I play my role the best I can for the team. And as a team, we obviously want to make it to the NCAA tournament, but uh, just to grow as much as we can, you know, and um, just go out there and, and play hard for 40 minutes. When we brought Cumberland, Brechting, and Xavier in here, we knew we had a really good recruiting class. The problem was is that Xavier had Jalen Hayes in front of him, Brad had Percy Gibson in front of him, um, and then Isaiah Brock got here. And Cumberland had Kay Felder, Sharon Dorsey Walker, Martez Walker, Kendrick Nunn. So they had these great players in front of them and they just became a role player as freshmen. They were the scout team players. As sophomores, they got a few minutes here and there, and then all three of them got injured, and they all missed their junior year. They were all redshirted, and now everybody's gone, and the tablet is open for them, and they've got a chance to show how great of players they were. Me, Brad, and JC, you know, we came in 2015 not really knowing what to expect. The only thing we knew was we wanted to play we wanted to be on the court and we wanted to win. And especially last year, all of us sitting out, we kind of saw what you know the team was doing and what we could bring in ourselves. I learned from Kay Felder and Sharon Dorsey Walker, been great mentors for me. So just taking after those guys and just trying to help the young guys like they helped me. Me, X, and Brad are upperclassmen. We know what the roles are for everybody and just trying to get the young guys going. 
When our freshmen came in, we told them, we're not bringing you in to be a freshman, we're bringing you in to be a part of this team, so don't have a freshman mindset. You need those voices of, of reason within the team and experience, and these three guys have that. So with the turnover we've had, we, we have a lot of youth and, and different people in the program, to have those three consistency through their time here is an important factor for us, and, and uh, they're doing a good job. Over here? Yep, yep on you. Where are you going? No action. I'm going to go done, bro. I think my ride's due for an upgrade. There's more than one way to fly. Hurry in for great deals at the Dodge Big Finish event. Or well-qualified returning employee lessees get a low-mileage lease on the 2018 Dodge Journey GT all-wheel drive for $149 a month. At Ascension, our care teams listen to you as a woman and an expecting mom. Whether it's your first child or your next, our network of doctors, nurses, and specialists take the time to understand the care you need, including special care. Then we create an experience that's right for you and her or him, or both. Visit ascensionmibaby.com. As an Oakland University Credit Union member, you can have access to your money whenever and wherever you need it. Sign up today for a Visa debit card and carry the confidence of Visa everywhere you go. Take advantage of our mobile app and e-deposit. Plus, you can sign up for Apple Pay using your OUCU Visa. With convenient branch locations and over 30,000 ATMs nationwide, accessing your money is easy. Visit OUCreditUnion.org for more information or to open an account today. See, he wants to, see, Brad is a copycat. And I don't mind it because... What? Because Brad obviously likes my swag. He's down the stairwell. Right there. Oh! Light him up. Light him up. Come on. Light him up. Ah! Ah! <laughs> my freshman year here, it was me, Javen, and Xavier. We all shared the apartment, us three into a two-person apartment. Javen and I are roommates, and X was upstairs. And ever since then, we've been close from there on out. Uh, pretty much done everything with each other. Um, this year with uh, captains, Coach Campy picked us three. We had a disappointment last year, and, and you can point to injuries. And you know, whenever you don't meet expectations or goals, there's always a reason. And you know, guys know how much I love that senior class and all the special things they did when they were here. But I really thought we, our leadership wasn't at the level it needs to be. And so with a new team and a new chance and a new start, I felt that we had to do leadership training for the, those three guys that were gonna be captains. I actually sent them over to see uh, the softball coach at the University of Michigan, who's a famous coach who I have the utmost respect for him. She was very intense. She was she was great, actually. She was really, she was just really uh, giving us what we needed to to learn. One of our former coaches, Coach Saudi Washington, we met with him. He had a lot of great things to tell us and just help us try to lead the young guys and just try to go to what goals we have. You have to learn how to come and be a leader every day with your actions. Yeah, words go with it, but more with your actions. Are you coming to the arena every day? Are you coming to practice every day with that leadership oozing out of you where we can just feel it, the whole team can, you know, kind of uh, gravitate towards it. You know, and, you, and being a leader, it's it's about the walk. It's not about the talk. We got a lot of new guys, like you said, uh, myself included. And uh, I was actually one of the last people to get here. In terms of transfers, you know, then we have a fifth year transfer, a uh, graduated senior from Eastern Michigan playing for us, Jordan Nobles. Uh, long, uh, athletic, uh, great offensive uh, touch and, and skill, good passer. And if he wasn't a transfer, I think the kind of kid you'd want leading your team also, and he will lead as a captain light guy during the season. He came into practice, he listened, he did what Campy wanted him to do, he listened to the other coaches, and he even listened to the players. You got uh, Kamari Newman who came from George Mason, 
Kamari, he, he, he's feeling, he's finding his way, but I truly believe uh, once he carves out his niche for the team, he's going to be a pleasant surprise for guys and, and for everyone who follows Oakland to see that, yeah, we have another uh, guy who can really fill it up from the outside. I love our freshman class. I think all four of those kids, when, when their careers are over at Oakland, they're going to be, you're going to see a lot of honors. To get a, a guy like Bray Norris here, you know, he, he, he took a, a number of visits uh, to a number of quality mid-major programs. And for him to, in an infinite wisdom, choose Oakland is a really good get for us. Travion Maddox is obviously was one of the top 10 players in the state of Michigan last year preseason. And then at the end of the season, he was first team all state. And then you got Baba Tunde, who at six foot 10, 270 pounds, uh, has never been coached, has never played the game of basketball, and is just in a learning process. And that young man has improved more than any player I've ever coached in the first six months he's been on campus. But well, then you have Kenny Pittman, who's from Chicago, Simeon. Kenny can make plays. Like, Kenny has a lot of that it factor to his game where he's just able to make plays for himself and other players. A coach can't be used to a uh, terminology like a spazzy team. To be honest, I'm kind of a spazzy kid myself. Uh, I'm, my, I have a high motor, so I like to push things and like in a fast pace. So, I mean, sometimes I have to rethink and calm myself down and then look at my uh, the team and be like, all right, we just need to calm down. We're young, we just need to take a deep breath and just relax and play b basketball. I took a year away, so in a sense, I am a new face. The best way to captain a team with new, with new guys that you know haven't been on the court or have been away from the court is to say pretty much we're all in the same boat. We're all in this together. What's up? Oh! Oh! You! <laughs> X, you got one second. One second. Got to get it up with the left hand. When my hair gets too long, I lose my edge. But when my cut's right, I'm right. I'm back to being me. My dimples activate. My cleft chin becomes cleftier. I get a twinkle on my tooth. And I speak fluent French. Garbage. Chaise lounge. Mayonnaise. Au revoir. Get in, get out, back to greatness. Download the online check-in app. Great Clips. It's going to be great. Compassionate Personalized Care has a new name. St. John Providence is now known as Ascension. Though the signs on our buildings are changing, Ascension caregivers have been here all along. Only now your doctors, clinics, and hospitals are connected to experts and specialists across the state and the country. So you are able to find the care you need, when and where you need it. That's more than 100 years of history rolled into one exciting new beginning. We are Ascension. house training, full-time administrative staff, professional photography, all this at no cost to the agent. Real Team Real Estate, the official real estate provider for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Steve Waterfield. Our new AD, Steve, he's a he comes from bigger programs, so he understands what it takes. You know, he understands that, you know, basketball is important around here and what it does mean to the community and for the university. How do we best position our team to have national success? And that may be hosting tournaments, it may be going to tournaments, but playing good opponents, home or away, neutral site, and as Coach Campy's done a lot of times, beating them is a great recipe for continued national prominence. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Arena. We're on the blacktop here, where today we start play in the Men Against Breast Cancer Oakland Hoops Challenge, a very good mid-major matchup for you between the Oakland Golden Grizzlies and the James Madison Dukes here in Rochester. Turns and flips it up and in with a right hand over the left shoulder. And you know what Brad Brechting has going for him? He takes his sweet time. Let that one fly. 
of course. Greg Norris, the freshman, making it count. If we go some zone, rebound out of it. Off the glass, that won't go. JB with an offensive rebound. Put back, won't go again. Back, backing in, backing into the paint. Turns, strong move from JB as he gets it to go. And the Oakland Golden Grizzlies get the win in the opening round of the men against breast cancer. Oakland Hoops Challenge, 77 to 69 over James Madison. I have a goal to raise a million dollars for the American Cancer Society. Uh, I think we're, we're, we're about halfway there now. And even in fundraising, you've got to find a way to, to do something different and new that, that strikes people. And there were a lot of people that wanted to see what I looked like with pink hair. So they donated and we hit the goal and so I had to do it. Looked like a pink haired Barney Rubble out there, I told him, and uh, we were laughing about it. But uh, they asked me to dye mine, but uh, the paint wouldn't stick to my skin. It was a little different, he looked like the Joker. He, uh, he told us not to make fun of him too bad, but uh, it, was, it was really funny. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, honestly. During the game, you know, he yelled so much, he had pink sweat coming down his face, so it was kind of hard not to pay attention to it. <laughs> It takes a lot of uh, a lot of courage to do that, <laughs> to you know put yourself in the spotlight like that, have your hair all crazy, have people talking about you. But you know that's the type of guy he is and the type of leader he is, and it's, it speaks volumes. Yeah, I tell everyone, you need to pick whatever cause or issue means something to you. And the beauty of it is, so many people benefit from what he's doing. To have a, a tournament with with quality teams also. I mean, to throw in a, a traditional foe as Oral Roberts, a great name, a uh, great tradition with Oakland. Uh, Northern Illinois is a Mac school. Uh, and then James Madison is a solid mid-major program from the Colonial Conference. James Madison's never been here before. Northern Illinois has never been here before. Uh, Moral Roberts obviously is an old foe, but that, that was a really, really good tournament with some very talented teams and good basketball to watch. The first half of our Northern Illinois game was as good a basketball as you'll see. As usual, Brad Brechting wins the tap. Norris for three, of course. Excellent two-man game and an easy lay-in for Noah McCarty. In to the left block and Levi Bradley makes the catch and the hoop. McCarty made the catch and scored it. Did you hear that? Rebounds are 10 to three. 23 points in 10 minutes. That's the result. Xavier Hill Mays will turn and fire a jump shot and hit it. Three seconds left. Norris step back, four, three. Of course! Ray Norris giving NIU the business. We got mad and we came out and the shots started going in because you were mad, you were playing. And the shots started going in, we, got, we were down 17 or so and we got back to one and we got the ball. Beck with an offensive rebound, lots of body. Kick out to Norris. Xavier Hill Mays backing, spinning. Right hand half hook, left short. Rebound claimed by Lacey James. Sends a pass to Thorpe at the shot clock. Buzzer just turns and throws it in. Thorpe gets another bucket. German with the board. He got up on that one, holy cow. And the shot clock is off as the buzzer sounds. Northern Illinois defeats the Golden Grizzlies 92 to 72 in the men against breast cancer Oakland Hoops Challenge. It was really good basketball. Our fans got to see it. It's over a holiday. Obviously our students were gone, but we still had pretty good crowds considering. And, and uh, anytime you get home games, it's good. With an Oakland University credit union account, you can access your money whenever and wherever you need it. Sign up today for a Visa debit card and carry the confidence of Visa everywhere you go. Take advantage of our mobile app and e-deposit. Plus, you can sign up for Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay using your OUCU Visa. With convenient branch locations and over 30,000 ATMs nationwide, accessing your money is easy. Visit OUCreditUnion.org for more information or to open an account today.
schedule online anytime. Now you can easily schedule an appointment with Ascension Care Teams at St. John Providence and Ascension Crittenden, no matter where you are or what you're up to. If you're a new patient or if you've been here before, we have appointments available at locations near you. Find your appointment online anytime at GetAscensionCareSEMI.com. When my hair is too long, I don't feel right. But when I get a cut, I'm me again, only better. My tattoo gets feistier. My crazy eye snaps to attention. I become my own Wi-Fi hotspot. I just downloaded the entire internet. And trust falls? They don't even scare me anymore. That pomade really broke my fall. Get in, get out, back to greatness. Download the online check-in app. Great clips, it's gonna be great. Brayden Norris, he's, he's stepping in for, as a point guard right now. And I mean, he, he took the next man up mentality and he ran with it. I mean, it, over this past weekend, he had probably the best weekend that I've seen uh, for a freshman to come through Oakland. He has some great underlining leadership qualities about him that come out more in the game setting while the game is going on. Having those three games in three days really put in our team's mind that this is what we're gonna have to do to win in, um, in March. It was great to see our fans come out on Thanksgiving, you know, during the holidays. I think it was good for the guys just to see how involved our fan base is, how dedicated they are, and, you know, how, how consistent they are with just showing up to the games and bringing energy. We opened a new dormitory this year, another 800 beds on campus. All that does is help the Grizz Gang. That just, that gives us more people that will show up for the games and be in the Grizz Gang. And we're now a, an up and running university that's it's on its way and, and there's more to come. And we have a tremendous uh, new president who is really involved and into it and uh, very intelligent. And you know, she's gonna continue the growth of this place and nothing but good things are happening here. One thing that it's been clear since I arrived, and whether it's with student athletes, students, staff, alumni, donors, community members, is how much people care about Oakland University in general, and how much they care about the athletics program, including the men's basketball program. And that passion, that care is evident when you have buses of people coming down to watch a game at Xavier uh, right before finals and are willing to support the team. It doesn't surprise me, but it's, Th that's not common. I kind of threw it out there on Twitter last summer when the game was, you know, we heard the game was going to be on national TV at noon. I said, we need to get the Grizz Gang down. I'll tell you what, Grizz Gang, I'll give you all the, the tickets we get if you can get a bus. Well, then somebody donated a bus. Kim McCarter donated a bus. And the next thing I knew, all our tickets were gone. And I'm like, oh, no, I gave all the tickets away. But uh, we're filling a couple buses. There's another bus they're trying to get. And we're going to, down in the Cintas Center, we're going to have a real presence. Uh, people down in Cincinnati are going to see that open basketball uh, is very well supported. And our students are, we're going to, do a little fight with their student section and see who, uh, who can be the loudest. Xavier Hill Mays, long three, left corner. Of course, FedEx delivers a triple. Cumberland will catch, launches left wing three. Of course, Javon Cumberland rattles it home. Long three from Javon, of course, Javon Cumberland. Pass dropped off, and it's jammed down. Pick and roll it, shot off the glass, won't go, and Hankins goes over top. Kick out three, well, it's just perfect. Here comes Bray Norris to Kamari Newman. Long three. Of course, Kamari Newman. It's about a 27-footer. Big bucket for Oakland, 50 to 42. Norris, 4-3, of course! He's got 14, it's a four point ball game. It's Coach Campy, huddles up with his squad. Xavier crowd, a sellout crowd here at the Sinta Center on their feet now. Down to five on the clock, Wellage will catch it, launches a long three, and he buries it. 
from 29 feet away. The horn sounds here in the Cintas Center. The Xavier Musketeers escape with a 73-63 win over the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. If you're gonna hop on a bus and go to an away game, uh, Xavier, you know, it just shows how committed you are. And anybody who's showing, taking that type of effort and showing that type of commitment, you know, you know, it's just great to have. It's just great to see because when March comes and we're cutting down the nets and we have that Horizon League Championship trophy, those guys are going to be with us. I'm like, you know, I was with them from the beginning. And that's just, that's what it's all about. It's all about the journey, all about the process, and all about seeing the team develop. This is our learning time. This is our preseason. We're going to go through some positives and negatives, and we got to build on that and figure out what we're about and then get to that conference schedule. And when we get there, I think we'll be ready. That's the story that's out there about us, that this will be a down year. So let's go out there and prove them wrong. And you need to come with that mentality every day that you're here to prove a point and to get better and to carry it on through the season. And at the end of the day, at the end of the season, let your story be told by your success. Catch Oakland basketball at the Arena. For tickets to all Oakland basketball games, call 248-370-4000 or visit goldengrizzlies.com. At Ascension, our care teams listen to and get to know you and your child. Then we create a personalized pediatric experience that's right for you both. Our network of doctors, nurses, and specialists deliver the care you need, even when it's special care. Because families come to us for many needs, from many places, in many sizes. Visit ascension.org Michigan.